Well, hello there. So today we're going to talk about, this is more like a review of the chip dog itself. Um, if you have seen my unboxing video, I showed you how it looked like when the box was open. And now I've had this uh, puppy dog for about uh, a week now, six days or so. And uh, it's sure it's a lot of fun. So at this point, uh, it's been like I said, it's been a week, and um, the dog has not got any stains or anything on it. The plastic is pretty solid plastic. It's not like any cheap plastic or anything. And like I said, it weighs uh, quite a bit, uh, probably as much as a half gallon of milk. Um, so that is. It is there so if if a kid drops it or or anything or it falls on its face or its head uh, my son has uh, my son like I said is three year old and he does not know how to handle these things and then I caught him the other day when it was powered off like this and then he was just turning its head this way and that way and then playing with the wheels and I was like I almost um, had a heart attack but then uh, after everything was powered back on, it looks fine and everything's working fine. So, so far it's good, okay? And uh, let's dive into the details of the dog itself. So the dog is supposed to have sensors all over the body, um, but what I've seen is not much happens if you touch over here, but it does something when you touch these parts and then when you touch the nose part, or probably this this portion it does something as well um, the the ears they just uh, move left and right when the when the, when the when the head turns this way and that way doesn't do anything the tail in my opinion is just um, it doesn't wag its tail or anything like that um, so that's what that is and uh, this is the rechargeable battery pack I believe but this one you're not supposed to take it off and this is the contacts where uh, the dog goes and sits on its bed to charge itself. Um, these are the wheels, uh, the mechanum wheels or something, I hope I'm pronouncing. They make the dog go very fast in either direction, whichever direction you want it to go. Um, you can, once you pair the dog up with the app, you can control it almost like a drone not not flying drone but something that moves it's almost like a remote controlled car or something um so you can it's it works via bluetooth uh, that's what i think it does and so um yeah so they they move very fast and everything so the dog has uh, sensors which enable it to figure out where you are so um if you're wearing the watch and then um this this button or this one one of them uh, if you I think this is the location button if you press that button it's supposed to come to you um, so it knows where you are and then it it's, it just stops right where you are and whenever it's trying to play with the ball and then it uh, it comes along a wall it just stops there it doesn't go and hit the wall however as you're playing with the app it has no control so the app if you just point the dog to the wall and then just to drive the app so that uh, i mean drive the drive the dog so it goes straight it will go and hit the wall that i found uh, very surprising if it's got sensors to prevent itself from getting damaged uh, i don't know why it wouldn't engage when you're using the app so that's um, that's a problem right there. So if you give it, give it to your kid and then like the kid just uh, hurls the dog towards the wall, it's it's just gonna break. It, it it travels very fast. And so there's gonna be significant damage if that happens. And um, beyond this, uh, this is where you turn on the turn on the dog. And this small port right next to it, that's for charging. So if the dog, uh, for whatever reason, is standing up, that's what I was always thinking, what would happen if the dog is standing up and then it loses charge over a week or something? Uh, you leave the dog at home and then you go on vacation and then um, uh, it's been a week and it doesn't charge itself. So it's not gonna go and sit on its base. I'm gonna show you how it does that. If you saw, saw my unboxing video, 
not even sure there how it does that um, so let's say the dog lost all its power like zero percent then how would you charge it you can like fold its leg and forcefully and then make it sit on its base to charge so I think this is great so they have included a, a jack for powering on the dog and I believe the same adapter that you use to charge the bed um, I mean uh, to connect the bed so that that one works for this one as well okay so I have installed the wheel card for the dog and I was wondering what happened and I mean I got these wheel guards and I have no idea how to install them and I was wondering what sort of manual is it if it doesn't show me how to do that and uh, the manual is arranged in a different way if you are like me and then you just pick up the manual and then like you are like going through it and like oh okay so here is the introduction manual the quick start guide and it's got all these commands okay that's fine and then you take this one this is introduction and then it's like the next one is some other language and then the one after that is also another language so you're like okay uh, I'm done with it so let me see how to install the wheel guards and then there is no information on the wheel card there's a lot of questions and question and answers regarding the app and such but there's nothing about the wheel card so I was like what is happening here and then you see you keep going there is another page in English and this is for rechargeable battery instructions sheet and it tells you exactly that you can use the same adapter for powering the chip okay and then you keep going you keep going and finally you have the wheel card assembly and this is the one it says four wheel cards and then the screws the small the tiny small screws and then it says caution wheel guards must be assembled on product prior to playing if this is an important sheet why don't they just add it to the manual so it looks like this was done as an afterthought or or they just printed the manual and then like they decided oh my god we got to have this wheel card because do not use the chip on carpet or at least that's what the the um, the person I emailed to ask I asked them like if chips wheels are like these tiny rubber stuff and and then I, I take it on carpet because most of my house is carpet and what would happen like will the will the will it all the will the hair get tangled on it and then she said yeah that's for sure so I was like telling my kids do not take it on the carpet but now I know so you just install the wheel guard and supposedly you are good to go and the way to install it is you have a little green thing over here which shows that it's locked and then and then you sort of like hold the dog and do it like this and it turns red or at least it shows red right here and then it comes off and the wheel comes off so this is how you install the wheel card so just put it there and then like two screws and you clip it back on okay <clears throat> now let's look at how chip works okay so this is the watch as I showed you before um, it's got four buttons so the thumbs up is for uh, chip whenever he does something that you want him to do this is the location it's it, it will find you wherever you are based on this watch watch location or or rather chip will follow this watch and this one is like bad behavior or like if you don't want chip to do something you press this and then he will stop doing it yeah. let's see so to turn on the watch you press and hold for two seconds and now it's on all right okay cool and let's turn on chip he's waiting for us okay okay so now okay so chip is ready to play and you see the light on his eyes okay so chip is ready to play and then you press so he lies down so let me do that again so you press you press once like that on his nose and then he lies down I mean he sits down and you do that two times 
and then he lies down all right so let's see and then you do this he gets angry all right so now let's see him do some cool stuff all right hey chip sit down all right nothing special okay hey chip yoga <laughs> that's hilarious so funny all right good boy chip so i'm gonna press thumbs up all right hey chip let's dance Okay, and then to bring him to you. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> little overexcited he is. Okay, so those are some of the stuff that he does. Um, there's a few more things that he does. Um, but everything depends on this this guy if you if you're, if you're not the owner if you don't have the watch let me turn it off so to turn it off you just press it keep it pressed and keep it pressed for four seconds supposedly okay now it's off so chip has no idea where i am or he's looking for me he hears some voice, but he has no idea where I am. Okay, and now, if I try to pick him up, he's surprised. And then... Ah, oh, he got angry. That's probably because I'm not the owner. And he wants me to put him down. That's his way of telling me, put me down. Alright. Okay, now the coolest part, or at least the one that I love the most. Let's see what he does when he needs some juice, in this case, charging. All right. So I've connected the charging base. Chip knows where the charging base is and he's turning himself around and <laughs> that's incredible. I mean the Roomba uh, robot does that as well but this is something really cool to see a uh, toy do the same thing okay so the ball does not come with batteries uh, as many toys don't so it takes four AAA batteries you open these screws and then insert them ne negative and positive okay and you turn on the ball and it starts glowing and chip also knows the ball is here but right now it's getting charged up okay so now can let's see if we can ask him to hey chip hey chip okay he does not he's ignoring me because i'm not the owner i guess hey chip okay hey chip let me go on Give him some encouragement. 
Hey Chip. Fetch. So, he knows where the ball is. But as you can see, he takes some time to, to you know, like align the ball so it, it attaches. Let me get him. So to make him stop what he's doing, we press the stop. And then he stops. Okay. So. Okay. So this is a magnet. So this is what Chip does to attach himself to the ball and the ball also <laughs> and the ball has a magnet somewhere here or there or somewhere so whenever chip is going to fetch the ball it it will attach to it so i can feel the magnetic pull right there there you go so that's how chip brings the ball back to you so, Chip acts almost like a real dog. So if you just power, keep it powered on and leave him alone, after a while he sort of like makes this whine, uh, asking him, asking you to play with him. So he acts like a real dog in some respects, and he sort of knows where you are, like when you move in front of him. So he will invite you to play um, and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. And Chip is not waterproof, um, so you better tell your kids, uh, you know, like if they have plans to take him to the bathtub or something, <laughs> that's not going to work. And uh, the manual mentions that Chip is an um, indoor dog, so you, you don't want to take him outside or in the lawn, on the grass or something, because the grass can get tangled up in the wheels and that would be pretty, pretty bad. So some things to keep in mind i guess all right so i have an android phone and i've installed the app and this is how it does or this is how it launches and as you can see the app has launched and it knows that there's a smart ball somewhere there it is okay cool so it's fine Cool. So this one gives you a lot of um, instructions like how to play with chip and all that stuff. Okay. And this is the one that's you've been waiting for. Okay. So now if you use this as oh did you see that? He travels very fast, like I said. So he will go and crash against the wall. Ooh. Okay. So like I said, this one moves very fast. And if you put the phone in portrait mode or landscape, can do anything. Oh. Whoa. Hey, come back. <laughs> All right, so yeah, like I said, oh, this can hurt someone actually. So if, if a small kid is there and then you, you hurl the dog at the kid, it actually hurts because uh, he's heavy and this one moves with very fast. Whoa. Alright, okay. So that's a cool thing for little grown kids, I guess. And again, he's gonna go and pass. Uh oh. 
<laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> Chip on the body or um, on him. There is no uh, USB port or anything of that sort. So uh, even if there are any firmware upgrades or anything in the future, any new functionality that uh, the parent company wants to put on chip, I I have no idea how it's gonna get on to chip. So I guess this is all you get with the dog. I might be wrong. I have I have to find out more about it, but this is it. So what you what features you have or whatever it does, that's all it's gonna do. Okay. Thanks for watching again. Bye bye.